did she pay for hers? That's a very good question. You know, she and I go out to dinner. She doesn't even reach for the check. That's all I'm asking for is a reach. Is that so much to ask for? It's nice to get a reach. Here on Byline, as you know, we've solved many of the world's most pressing problems. Political, spiritual, cultural, and now, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to solve yet another problem. Who should pay on the first date? That perennial topic still hasn't gone away. Sherry Akami joins me now from BC. She's a dating columnist for, for the province newspaper. Sherry, there's this new study out that caught my eye and I thought, we, we, we gotta get into this. We gotta have a look at this from Chapman University. 17,000 respondents. I just want to read some of them first, and then I'm going to get your take on them. We're going to talk about the men first. Here's men's attitudes towards paying for dates. So 82% of men say they pay for most of the dating. 76% felt guilty if they didn't pay. And 44, though, would stop dating a woman who never pays on dates. What do you think about that, Sherry? I think that men should pay on dates because it's about being chivalrous and about taking a girl out and making her feel special. Um, if you make the girl pay on the date, you're not really taking her out and every girl wants to be treated special and made felt good and feel like the guy wants her. When you make her pay, it shows that you're not interested. Okay, but what about, and I hear a lot of mixed messages in society and I think a lot of guys are going to understand what I mean. I remember, f first start in grade 9, I open a door for a girl, think I'm being a nice guy and she, what are you doing? You, you're trying to say I'm too weak to open a door, you don't realize women are equal and, and I, it boggled my mind right away. I didn't know from that point on, it was like the mixed messages and I feel like we're hearing in society, women are completely equal in everything and I personally endorse that, but apparently it's still not here in this category. Well, it's not about being equal or not, it's about the principle. So I understand like some women do take offense to it because they feel that if a man opens the doors, it is showing that they're weak and they can't open the door themselves. But I think that we need to step back and understand that it's just the principle, it's the gesture, it's just being kind as a person. Um, whether it's even a friend, if you hold the door open for a kid, does that mean that you're stronger than the kid or a bigger deal than the kid? No. You're just being kind, you're opening the door, you're helping somebody else. Uh, I don't think it's about being you know, a guy being stronger, that's why he opens the door. It's about being ge like generous and showing a gesture and showing interest and just generally doing something out of your way for someone else. There's not too much behind it besides pure kindness. Okay, being a gentleman. The other side of that report, women's attitudes towards paying for dates. Interesting stuff here. 58% say that men pay for the dating, which doesn't gel with what men are saying, interestingly enough. 57% of women offer to help pay on the date but 39% do admit that they prefer if men reject the help to pay on the date. Do you think that's more or less where it should be? Well, I think that, you know, every woman should go on a date thinking that they should offer, and if the guy does allow them to pay, then yes, they should pay, because you should never do a fake offer. You should never go into a date expecting someone to pay for you. But I do believe that men should pay on the first three dates. Actually, that's a principal rule for me. I think that it's a way for a man to show that he's interested and that you're worth it. Um, but is it expected or should you not like a guy who doesn't pay for you? No, but it, it's just the principle of dating. Back in the day, that was the rules and it's not about being a feminist or expecting anything. It's about, you know, just it worked back in the day and it, worked, it should work today. And it's not about lowering yourself by having a man pay for you. You don't owe him anything just because he bought you dinner. It's just the general principle of being nice and kind and, you know, taking a girl out and making her feel special. Okay, are you assuming, though, that this is the man having asked out the girl? What about, what if a girl asks out a guy? Do all the rules change then? I don't think so. You know what, I really don't. I think it's amazing when women can have the guts and go ask a girl out for a date, a guy out for a date. It's good. Um, it shows that you're confident in yourself and that you go after what you want. But a date is still a date. From day one, guys used to pay for it, and they still think they should. It doesn't matter who asked. If a guy didn't pay for my date, I would just generally think he's not interested in me. Hmm. Interesting. All right, Sherry, we got to go. Thanks so much for joining us. My personal take was that I just said to them, oh, I've lost my wallet. And then uh, at the end of the day, I said, you know what? I remember where it is. I left it back at my place. So why don't we? Uh... No, I'm just kidding, folks. Send me your thoughts on dating issues and more, I, I guess. We're now the dating show, anthony.fury at sunmedia.ca. You can tweet me at anthonyfury. Thanks so much for joining us today.